Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to learn on how to section a given view, especially when the view is drawn in orthographic projection. Now, if you look at the right side of the screen, you see three views of a block as shown in first angle projection. We are told to draw these views and also the section x, x, and y, y. Now, to give you a better understanding, right, I would like to what? Reproduce these views in isometric projection, right, in order to give us a better understanding. But before then, let me replicate what is on the screen on the drawing sheet so we get a better understanding of what we have been given. Right? So let's look at this. So we have successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Right? So with this, this is not what they asked us to do, but we're going to work on this. So if you look at this, it said we should draw the views of the block, right? And we should show we should draw these views and also show the section XX and YY. So these are the views. We need to show the section what XX, right? That means the section here. Let me just put this. So I'll make you understand what it means by saying section XX. So it means I will section this diagram we have here. Now look at it. Right, I will explain this to you now. And I will section this also. So let me just show you what I'm trying to see here. On the diagram, you can see at the right hand side of the screen, which is there where you can see there. We are told to section this diagram and look from the top downward. It means you cut it from here, then you look it from the top. That is what Jesus is telling us. Is that the key? You cut it from there and you look from where? From the top. Right? Let me adjust this so we have a better insight of what we have. Let me take it up. So this is what we have here. And I'm going to draw this in isometric so that we'll have a better understanding of what I mean by when you section it, what will really happen. So give you a better understanding, right? So I'm subtracting this as isometric. I want you to stay tuned and watch. And this is what we'll be having here. So this is what we have. We have um, successfully converted this diagram into what? Isometric. Now it's for me to now explain to you what you are actually told to do here. Right? I purposely did it this way so you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay. We said it is sectioned on the elevation. Right? It means... This thing is sectioned here. They are cutting this circle into two halves. Right? Yeah, sectioning here. Cutting it, let's see from this point. This is what is really happening here. Right? So this is my section plane. X, 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 yes, correct, X, X. So it means that we are cutting this thing into two halves, right? What are you going to see when you cut this into two, when you cut it from here, what will you see? This is what you are going to see. This is what we have here, right? You see this cutting plane you're seeing on the screen, right? I mean, this plane that is cutting the figure. It means that when I slice it from this point here, which is the center of the circle, when I slice it into two, 
what will I have? So when you cut it from this side up, remove the top away. The arrow is now pointing down, meaning looking down, what will you see? What will, be, what will it look like? So this is the answer. This is what you're going to see. And I told you from our previous video that whatever the cutting plane cuts or touch, that is where you're going to what? Section. So it means that you're going to section all these parts, right? This is what you'll be sectioning here. So this is the answer. So looking down means the plan. So this will affect the plan. So we'll be having this, 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 this. This like that. This. Right. So this is what will happen. So this is where you are going to what section. Right, because this is where the knife or the cutting plane is cutting through. You can see from here, it slides off this place. Right, so here is off. Is that okay now? That is from the. Yeah, I was telling you, looking from the top, this is what you're going to see. Nothing will affect here because you're still seeing all this. Right, you're still seeing all this. So now the next thing is, from the other aspect again, from the plan, it says, what will you do when it cuts the plan with what you can see on the screen? When it cuts, when it cuts the plan, as in the elevation, the plan, this. Looking at this direction, so that is our y y. Right. So it means it's cutting the plan, as you can see in the question, cutting it from the top this way. And that's what I just did here from the top. I bring it down. This is a cutting plane. So when you have cut it into half, looking at this direction, that is the elevation, it affects the elevation. So what am I going to see if I'm looking at the elevation? This is what I will see. Let me. This is what we have, right? Now, what it means is the plane you can see that is displayed on the screen is cutting this into half vertically. And the arrow is telling me looking at this direction. That is what it's showing you when you see on the plan. That you see an arrow coming this way and facing in this way, right? So when you look at the plan, I look at the arrow facing it. So it means that when you cut this plane from the plan, you look at this direction to get y, y. And this is what we have. When we have cut the plane, we're not looking at this direction, right? So if you notice it, the plane is cutting through the circle, right? It's cutting here into half. So all those parts, we are going to what? We are going to section them on the what? On the elevation. Because looking at this side is what? The elevation. So if I do that... I'm going to be having this from the elevation. All the thick lines will become faint line. All the faint lines will become thick line this way. Because you can now see them visibly. You can see the two lines that was hidden earlier. Right? So I'll now start sectioning the lines. So I'm going to section here. And section here. Here. It should be evenly distributed. Right, then also at this point two, this point two, here, 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 here. They're all the same figure. Mm. 
one thing you need to know you're not going to see this line here because the figure will not be a plain what a plain figure if you want to this is what we'll be having here right when you section it this is what you'll be having so this is what the question is telling us all these are just explanation what you are asked to do is this right this is the section yy and this is the section xx is that the key now so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching